Hey, what's up, guys? Chris Travis here with Fandra.com. We're here at CES Unveiled 2014 at the Mizu booth, taking a look at the MX3. Uh, this is Mizu's smartphone. Uh, that's currently out in uh, like Hong Kong and China and, and uh, Asian countries, even Israel as well. But um, should be making its way to the U.S. Uh, the cool thing about the phone is not necessarily the specs, which are pretty nice. Uh, first thing you'll notice is a 5.1 inch 1080p screen uh, display, and it's a uh, super, super LCD, so it looks really, really great. Nice viewing angles. Let me go ahead and um, unlock it here. Um, I guess the main feature about this phone is it's very, very different and very unique UI. It's featuring the Flime, Flime OS 3.0. Now it's a very heavily modified uh, version of Android. Uh, it's actually based off of Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, but the UI is absolutely crazy. And the whole point of it, I guess, is to kind of accommodate those that want to use their smartphone with one hand. Uh, there's a lot of functions like uh, you can pull down or do a bunch of weird stuff. Let me try and show you here. If I drag this over to the home, you can see here this thing moves down and if you hold it, it will lock into place. So say you want to reach your calendar, thumb doesn't really go that high, you can hold it and now you can reach your calendar. Uh, just neat little things like that. It's again very heavily modified. Notification panel just has quick toggles. You're not going to find uh, any notifications until I guess you get one. So. It makes sense, really. Why pull down all the way and just show an empty uh, notification area when there's no notification? So uh, on the bottom here is your quick settings or your multitasking. That's how you would get to your most recent apps or apps that you've used. Swiping over, you have a couple of quick settings, and you could add a couple of favorites as well. You've got your brightness adjustment there. Pretty neat. Jumping in the settings, and you can see a very heavily customized uh, settings app as well. There's a theme manager. Mizu's got their own app store as well. Uh, you can see the navigation buttons that are normally always present on, like, say, a stock Android device only up here. I guess they're more le or less contextual. Let's see if I can get into the browser. Uh, I don't know where the browser is. I guess we'll not do that. Um, but we'll go into a couple of apps. The song apps. And if you want to go back, they have a cool gesture function from the home button there by swiping. So if we were in the browser, you would swipe this way and it automatically goes back a page so that's kind of like their browser they're kind of trying to uh, emphasize gestures and one-handed use and pretty neat so we expect to see this in the US uh, Mizu says that it will be out sometime in quarter three of this year um, press and hold remember the, the, the power it off oh yeah yeah the sleep functions too so you can press to hold it and then slide up to wake Pretty darn neat. Another one-handed feature. Another one-handed feature. It's it's cool. I like what they did. It's very different, very um, not typical Android base, I guess, uh, which is why I think I find it more more interesting. And it's a it's a neat it's a neat concept, and uh, I appreciate what they're doing. But that's Mizu. Expect this phone in the U.S. quarter three of this year. And uh, yeah, with Android.com, I'm Chris Chavez. It's a first look at the Mizu MX3. See you next time.